Hi friends, welcome back to my humble homestead and garden side chat. I'm super excited to be doing this series on holistic living, easy, holistic, healthy things that we can do. I spent some time in this workshop and I learned so much and I'm just excited to share it with you. about the onion. Onions that we can use, different things that we can do with the onion. How many health benefits it has and just some amazing things that we can use the onion for to help us at home. Onions are nutrient dense, meaning they're low in calories but high in vitamin, fiber, and minerals. Onions are high in vitamin C, which may help regulate your immune system, collagen production, and iron absorption. It's also a powerful antioxidant that can help protect your cells from unstable damaging molecules called free radicals. Onions are rich in B vitamins, including folate and B6. These play key roles in metabolism, red blood cell production, and nerve functions. Onions are also a good source of potassium, a mineral that may help with cellular function, fluid balance, nerve transmission, kidney function, and muscle contraction. The average potassium intake of Americans is less than half. The recommended DB of 4,700 milligrams. So adding onions to your diet is a great way to increase the potassium intake. Allium vegetables such as onions and garlic, which is we'll do garlic in another video, may lower your risk of developing certain cancers, including stomach and and colorectal cancers. Eating onions may also help regulate your blood sugar, which is critical in people with diabetes and prediabetes. Quercetin has also been shown to help regulate whole body blood sugar balance by interacting with cells in the small intestines, the pancreas, the skeleton muscle, fat tissue, and the liver. Onions may also help fight potentially dangerous bacteria such as E. coli, Staphylococcus, Bacillus cereus. One review suggests that it could inhibit the growth of several strains of bacteria associated with stomach ulcers. Quercetin extracted may also reduce bacteria growth. So let's look at some practical ways that we can use onions in our home. One way is if you've ever known anyone who's had an earache, if you've had babies who are teething, the eustachian tube is kind of that in that area. And I know when my kids were little, they had earaches all the time and it was one antibiotic after another and it was one set of tubes after another. But here is a great way you can use an onion and it can really relax and help an earache. So what we can do, I'm going to bring you down here because I want to show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's see the onion. So what we can do is we want to steam an onion in a cloth or we want to do a steam or a dry bake. We don't want it to be in water because it can lose some of those properties. So when you steam it and you get it hot, then you want to cut it in half so you see the rings. And then when you see those rings, you can put this onion in a cloth. And then when you wrap it up in the cloth, let me see if I can pull you up a little bit, wrap it in a cloth and then you just put it up here against the ear and you can put some plastic on the outside and the person can either lay, and you want it, you still want it really warm so you can touch it on your skin to make sure it's, you know, it's still hot or warm but not gonna burn. And then the plastic will hold the heat in and then you can either put a hat on to hold it in place or the person can lay down. If it's a child, it's probably good to put a hat on. And then you hold it there till it cools off. And then if it's still having problems, you can heat it up and do it again. And this, you just do until it's better. You know, if they need it for several days, that's fine. If it's just one time, it's great. But it, it's a drawer, so it pulls out 
whatever's causing that ear infection or the it can just be beneficial. Now, one thing, and it draw the onion will draw out the inflammation and reduce inflammation. It also could drain, like if you have something in there, it's okay if it drains it out, that's fine because if the body naturally drains something, it's it's okay. If we force it to drain it, we definitely don't want it to do that, right? So another thing that this heated one is good on is boils. If you have any boils, you know anyone who has any boils, you do the same thing. You put on the boil and it will draw all the waste out. So that's another thing and that can help cause relief of that. Now, raw onions are great for a cough, a bad cough. If you know anybody who coughs at night, just not able to sleep, and this is really good for children too because you're not giving them anything toxic, any medication, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop this onion up into little pieces here. So then what you would do is you would take a plastic bag and you would put like a tablespoon or so of the chopped onion in the plastic bag. And then you would, the onion on the bottom, you would put that foot in the plastic bag and then you would wrap that up in the foot and then you would put a sock on there to hold the onion and the onion will draw it out. Do one on each foot. It's crazy. They will not cough at night. It is, it's like a shockingly simple and amazing cough relief. I know I have friends in Canada who put like the menthol rub on the bottom and that does help too, but this is a powerful treatment. And now another thing, we are going to make onion syrup. So what I do here is we take the chopped up onion, you take a layer of chopped up onion, you put it in a jar. Ooh, these are so potent, you guys, I'm crying. And then I'm going to take, and I have my big thing of, this is my big thing of organic honey that I use for baking. And then I'm going to put, if I get this open, about a teaspoon of honey in there. And you can see this is really thick. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of honey in there. And then I'm just going to repeat. You can add a little bit of lemon juice if you want to. But you really only need the onion and the honey. And then you just keep layering this. Repeat the layers. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to let this sit for about 24 hours. And it's going to make a syrup. And kids actually don't mind it because it has sweet sweet in it. And then what you do is you will drain it. You'll just drain the liquid off. You'll strain it out. And then you'll keep it in a jar and covered in the fridge. And it can last indefinitely. One woman actually kept it in her fridge for like 10 years. Now, for the dose, if you have children, like young children, you could give them like a half a teaspoon. Adults or, you know, older children, you can do one teaspoon three times a day. So if you have somebody who's really fighting a cough, you know, it's the weather's changing. So this is a great thing. Give them a dose of this three times a day. Wrap their feet up in the onion poultice at night. And you should have a good night's sleep. Non-medicated, all natural ways to treat these coughs. Okay, so it is the next day. And I am going to take this onion syrup and I am going to strain it into another jar. Oof, I should have used a bigger strainer. Okay, and then I just put it in the smaller jar. I'm going to put a cover on it. I'm going to label it, and I will keep it in my fridge for if I need it. So here is the onion honey syrup, the cough syrup. All right, so that is an amazing thing we can do with an onion. Stay tuned now. We will do some more things coming up, things that you have at home. Thanks for watching, you guys. Be blessed. Have a great day. Bye.